Today we're going to talk about putting together a basic watercolor supply kit for your kids or for yourself if you're an older kid. Um, I like to use really simple supplies because they're inexpensive and um, they work really well. So I like to just grab a pad, either like a Canson or a Strathmore watercolor pad. Um, if you look on the front, it'll say the weight, and this one is 140 pound, which is like a mid-weight watercolor paper. And um, I like to take one bigger sheet and go ahead and cut it into smaller sheets. Um, these are cut in half, or you can cut them in fourths if you're working with a toddler or um, a smaller child. They sometimes like to have a smaller piece of paper. Um, this paper goes really far and is really good for practicing. You can find this at Michael's or um, Walmart, I think Target, some of the big box places. The next thing you'll need is brushes. And you can just go ahead and grab a variety pack of brushes at a local craft store or big box store. Um, when you're starting out painting, learning how to paint, the type of brush isn't as important. We can just get a variety pack and I actually prefer to have a few flat brushes um, just because it's a little bit easier to control the watercolor with some flat brushes and round brushes are fine too. Then of course you're gonna need a jar to put water in. If you're working with toddlers you might want a plastic jar or a plastic cup but it's nice to have something that's clear so you can see how murky and full of watercolor your um, water is becoming and if you need to dump it out. If it's becoming too murky, you will need to dump it out and get new water and that'll um, just help your watercolor paint show better and the color to come through a lot better. Um, the next thing I like to have on hand is just some soft napkins or paper towels and the reason is because when we're working with kids a lot of times there's little spills all over the table um, watercolor cleans up really well on a table but it's nice to have a paper towel handy or a napkin handy and then the other reason is because sometimes we get a lot of water on our paper and it's nice to have a soft napkin to just dab some of that water off if we go a little too crazy and then, okay, on to watercolors. So, there's a lot of different options out there, but what I recommend for starting is just a really basic set. You can get a basic set like this at a craft store or a big box store, or you can get a basic set of two watercolors um, also at a craft store or big box store. Both of these are inexpensive. They both have, they both work really well. Um, you can get a Crayola or a Prang set um, for four to seven dollars and that's great. Or you can get um, a tube color watercolor set, a Downey and Reeves or um, this one is Dale and Round Daler and Rowney. And these are more just if you want to get into mixing. And if you choose to go with the tube watercolor set, then you'll need a palette and then you can start really mixing colors a little bit better and have a little bit more space to do so. So that's if you want to explore more, but it's not necessary. You can do um, a lot of projects with just a real basic Crayola or Prang set. And especially for kids, they like to have their own little set and it's self-contained and you don't have to worry about all this mixing and, um, and getting really complicated for them. If you're an older kiddo, maybe you're ready to move to the next level and you want to start mixing and using a palette. Either way is fine and um, both of them are a lot of fun. So these are the things that I think you need for setting up a basic watercolor supply kit.